Welcome to Indie Resources video on the New Worlds engine. Um, basically, if you've been following my videos, you, you've spent a lot of time learning PHP and seeing that it's taken 36 videos to come up with a pretty simple game just because it, it does take a while to get a start. So I want to do this video on this engine because this is basically a PHP browser-based engine, a lot like what I do in my tutorials that makes everything super simple and the creator is actually doing a special offer for 20 bucks for the engine which is well worth it I'm not affiliated with this engine I don't get any money off of it I'm just doing this tutorial on it kind of and to kind of show it off to show how simple it is and how easy it is to get started up with this thing and it'll probably save a lot of you guys a lot of time <clears throat> I do get a lot of um, a lot of requests, a lot of emails, messages and stuff about hey can you build me a game, hey I went through your tutorials and you know it's just taking too long blah 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 and this this engine right here is going to save you a ton of time. It really um, it has modules. It's it's easy to use, super easy easy to install, which I'll show you here in a minute. So it's definitely worth even if you don't want even if right now you're saying I don't want to spend any money on the engine. I don't want that. At least watch the video and see how simple it is, because it'd be great to get a community around uh, a large community around this that we're build modules whether they're free you can actually come in here and build modules and sell them uh, make some money off of it so you, even if you're a PHP coder that's really not looking for games you know it might be worth your while to come in here and build some modules for other people to use or just build them for free um, because they really are simple to build they're simple to implement and um, I really feel like there's gonna be a large community around this that can really help support this so <clears throat> to kinda get started um, let me show you how to basically download. I'm not really going to go through the free version. To me, the free version doesn't show anything of what their engine can really do. Um, it's 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 this complete version that really shows what it is and how easy it is to set up. So if once you buy it, if you go into the um, let's, let me log in real quick. You go into your license, you'll see that the full the full version is here. Um, just download it there and basically it just comes in a zip file which is this package just extract this package into your uh, WW folder in your WAMP now if you've never installed WAMP you're brand new watch my first two video tutorials on how to build a browser based MMO and I can link them in this video if we need to they go over WAMP and everything and show you how to use it it's real simple once you get that down come back and watch this but it's it's super simple so don't if you haven't done this before don't worry about it it's really not that complicated um, and I'll also show this running on an actual um, hosted server too. So once you extract it, that's all you got to do is extract it, then go to your, let's go to our local host, make sure WAMP is running of course, local host, and I'm, I'm calling it AE because Armageddon Earth, that's one of my domains I have and that's where I'm going to host the full version at. So once you go there, it's going to automatically pull up and it's going to check everything to see past. You're, if you're using WAMP, you're probably going to get this on my host and I, I don't. But um, on WAMP, you will get it and don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, in this identification, just put in a password that you're going to remember. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put test because this is just a local version I'm not too worried about. Once you put it in, hit start. You're going to get the, probably get this error right here in WAMP. Don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt anything. It still installs. It's fine. Here's going to ask for the game name and then the database. And you need to go in and at least create the database. So um, I already have it up here, but if in, in WAMP, just go to your PHP My Admin, which is going to pull up your local host right here. Go into databases and just create a database. All you got to do is create it, which I'm just going to call it AE to make it easy. Hit create. It's been created. So now go back to the engine. Um, I'll go ahead and call it Arm Good Earth localhost root there is no password on mine and the database name just put it whatever you whatever you called your database you don't have to call it AE just whatever you named it in your PHP my admin hit continue it's gonna test to see if it's if it's good if it didn't then there's you know you had something wrong whether it's password or whatever it is it's automatically gonna go through it so it created everything it needed now it's gonna ask for administrator I'm gonna do walls of Valhalla and I'm just going to do password. I'm just going to do test. But you guys, of course, probably want to do something else. You can do your um, email. I'm just going to leave it that because this is lo local or whatever. Hit continue. If you're actually putting this on a hosted server, put in your email because it tells you every time. You can you can have it tell you every time somebody joins and things like that. So it's <clears throat> it's still installing. So it created the account. Um, just let it sit there. Don't mess with it because it's it's whatever it's doing, building scripts or anything, I haven't actually went in and looked to see what it does during this, not really worried about it, because this, I've installed this at least four times, and every single time it works great, easy, 
I mean, it's just super, super simple. Installed the free, free version a couple times, same way. But like I said, the free version is not really going to show you what this thing can do. Um, the free version is just going to kind of give you an idea. But it, it doesn't come out the way the uh, full version is. And I would recommend jumping on this deal while it's 20 bucks because it really is worth it. <clears throat> Especially when a lot of game engines out there are $99. And um, of course, this isn't a you know straight up JavaScript real time engine, but it is a, a nice persistent browser based game engine. So it tells you it's finished, so you can just hit continue. And literally, that was it. It was that easy to get this thing installed. It goes ahead and inst um, puts in a default um, thing here. So if we just uh, if we just log in under the whatever we just use for our administrative password, which mine was Halls of Hala and test. Hit login. Um, whoops, did I already goof it? I forgot to capital. Okay, let's try again. It's easy as long as you remember your password and username. Okay. So, okay. Now we're in. Now this is all default. We just installed it. This is all configurable. You edit all this stuff yourself. You write. You can write your own scripts. This is just what you get when you first install the game. So it's going to go ahead and ask you. And this is an admin account, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to pick Rogue. Hit choose it. Here's a really cool part of this that I've not seen in any type of engine or any type of setup that I really like. It starts out with a tutorial, and you can edit this tutorial. But this is for new players to give them an idea. So I'll go ahead and walk through this real quick. But it just Welcome to the the game, and it, it just shows people how to play. And you can, you can't like if you try to click on something else, you it's you have to actually follow the tu tutorial. And of course, you can quit it or whatever, but it, it really helps people. But um, let's see, it says go to facilities, and then go to Rockefeller shop. So once you do it, it, lets you keep going, and it keeps teaching you how to play. So that's pretty cool having that already set up for you. Um, of course, I haven't got a banner because I just installed it. So. I went ahead and exited out of that. Now, look, all this stuff is already set up in here for you. You've already got combat, and of course you can edit it, and you can change all this, but it's just neat that, you know, it's already ready to go. I mean, you're, you're pretty much done. Now, the cool thing is, is that you've got your admin panel that you can log into. That That's where you really start changing things, and that's where you have just an absolute ton of options to start out with. Um, you can put people in jail, put them in the hospital, you can add game news, you can ban people, delete people. Um, now a lot of you may say, well, then it's going to become static and every game is going to be the same. It's it's not really because you install what modules you want. You uninstall them. You make your own modules. This is just the base game. So basically, you have a working game out of the box, but then you can come in and edit it. Now the cool thing is, if you go on a lot of like um, uh, GitHub or anything like that, and you download other people's source, you're doing a lot of code editing to add anything. Here you're not. All you do is you can come in and add new modules. So you can actually import module packages. You can um, you can make your own. You can actually do go to a mod module manager, create new modules. Um, it's really neat. And then here's here's the thing that was to me is brilliant. Also, if you have if there a newer version of of any module you have comes out, it automatically tells you when you update it. So if you buy somebody else's module or get one for free and they update it later, bam, it tells you right off. So that's pretty cool too. And then here's some here's all the available modules that are out there that we don't have. And this list is growing, especially the the larger um, uh, user base that's out there. And then look at all these free ones. I mean, you got a couple that are paid, which are well worth it. The ones I've been looking at are well worth it, and they're really not that expensive. I believe it's a, around a dollar something per point. So you're looking at probably three fifty for this thing, if I'm if I'm right. So it, it, it's really cool. So if you just to, to let's just take one for instance, um, admin reset game. Let's say you want that, you can um, you can install it right there and. Uh, you have it in your game that quick so it's really really neat um, to be able to do that and then you can come into your modules I mean you get all these modules for free just for the 20 bucks and even if you're watching this and he's changed the price back to 100 or whatever he changes to I was fixing to pay 100 for it I mean this this really is an awesome awesome engine for, for the money and trust me I've bought a lot of engines out there but um, it's uh, it's it's very well taken care of very well supported we um, the one thing I will say is that he, um, the creator did move his forms over to Indie Resource to make things a lot simpler. So it is if you have any questions or you want to look at modules or anything, we just actually added it there. Um, and normally, if any of you guys know me very well, I'm very anal about 
any resource and who I bring here or who I allow to use the forums or anything as far as engines and things like that. But when I seen this game, and of course the creator has always been great. He's always been very well supportive. I was like, no brainer. He's it's definitely worth it because I think this thing's definitely good for the community. So if you have any questions or anything, you can. Um, pop into any resource, ask them. You, you know the way we all are here. We're, we're very good about answering questions and everything. Um, just to give you an example, this is actually ArmageddonEarth.com. You can go here. You can create a player if you just want to see it. Feel free to do whatever you want. If it doesn't look like this when you um, when you, you come here after you watch the video, it's because I'm editing as I go and I'm changing things. Real quickly before the video gets too long, I want to just show something real quick. And If I screw this up, sorry, I'm actually very new to this engine. Um, and I definitely haven't really played around with creating modules that much, but I'm going to. But the one thing I want to show you, this is how easy it is. And like I said, I barely used it. Let's create a new module real quick. Let's create a new module. Let's call it, um, let's just call it, we'll call it tutorial. Oh, let's just call it test. Um, I'll call it, actually, make sure that it's your actual module name is lowercase. And there's no spaces or symbols. Public menu, that's the... See, I, I'm not too sure about these, but the thing to remember, while, I, while I'm kind of sketchy right now, the next tutorial I'll do is going to be after I learn all this, and I'm going to start doing tutorials on how to make modules. So if you guys are looking at this and you're like, oh, this looks daunting, don't worry, I'm going to make some tutorials on it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just fill out test here, just so we have this. I don't want to admin panel entry. You can actually add variables and stuff to make it easier. I'm not going to do that right now. Right now we're just going to create a simple simple little panel here so it was created and it was installed now if you go and let's see I don't know if I have to refresh on this just yet let's go to home I think I may have to add it let's let's check yeah so let's go to our admin panel yeah I have to actually have to enable it I haven't enabled it yet so if we go to uh, where's our mod module manager And if we come down here and look at, here's test right here. Oh, it looks like it is enabled. Um, so let's see what happened to it. Maybe I'm just missing it. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. So if we click on it, you'll see that it's working. It just says will come soon. So where that where they're getting that from is if we go back to our admin panel. And we go to code editor. And there's basically a code editor right in game, which is just incredibly awesome too and we go down here to test we can there's there's a couple different options here we have our public we have our content so let's look at content and you'll see that's where it says will come soon so you can actually come in here and type hey this works and just to test something out let's uh, let's put down here and put uh, um, test equals um, yeah and then we will echo test see what happens I honestly haven't haven't even messed with this stuff yet but uh, whoops I actually hit the wrong button so up here you hit save I hit the control s thinking I was in Visual Studio or something so let's see what happens when we go to it and hey, this works, and then yeah, so it, it basically works. So you can actually you write all your PHP right through there, and whatever you write ends up on this this test page. And you can move this to wherever you want down here. You can change the names of all these things right here. It's very editable, very configurable, and so this gives you a basic idea of what you're kind of getting and 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 what it really is. Um, has a message system. It has a really a lot of really cool features right out of the box, and. Um, Hopefully this weekend I'm going to do some tutorials on how to actually make some, some modules, get things started, where we can start really pump some things out. So anyway, um, if you're looking back for the, if you just type in, um, here's what I do, New World Engine, it usually pops up on Google the first thing. Click on that and you'll be there. Like I said, you can swing by any resource, ask questions, whatever you want. Um, he's got a link right here to the forums and you can take everything from there. And uh, don't forget, you can also, if you just want to check out the game, you can go to ArmageddonEarth.com, register, and just play as a player.